Hi everyone, my name is James Ivey with Antelope Audio. In this video, we're going to look at one of the most used and yet one of the most controversial of all audio effects, Auto-Tune. In this case, we're going to be using the Auto-Tune Synergy plugin, which was co-developed by Antares and Antelope Audio. I'm going to show you how to set up the plugin to work alongside the Orion Studio Synergy Core interface and show you some routing options that you could use to give you as many options as possible when you move through your recording, mixing and mastering process. I'll also show you a couple of the most commonly used settings to achieve some of those classic auto-tune sounds that we have all heard on countless hit records. So let's get to it. When recording your lead vocal, you really can't afford to take any chances to not capture that magic moment. To that end, we're going to set up three vocal recording chains. The first is directly from the mic to the DAW. We are tapping the signal at source with no mic emulations or Synergy Core effects. The second is what I'm calling the tone path a great EQ and compressor set to give gentle control of the vocal. Nothing too drastic, but a gentle EQ lift and light compression. The third path is our auto-tune synergy path. Now for this example, this is going to be the path that we monitor. Now this might not always be what you want to hear or your artist wants to hear, but I want to show you just how cool this plugin sounds and how you can get a real variation of effects from very subtle, where we just get the auto-tune sound and it does not do a great deal of tuning, all the way to the full T-Pain. But we can work our way up to that. I'm going to set the mic to be an emulation of one of my favourite mics, the Vienna 12, which I know works well on my voice. And then we can dive in. If you know what you're listening for, you can hear that classic auto-tune sound in so many modern productions. And even when there's no pitch correction or adjustment being done, some producers or mixers will add an auto-tune plugin just to get the sound of that effect without any tuning effect. So let's pull in an instance of Auto-Tune Synergy onto effect slots five and six. And there's a few settings we need to make first. Firstly, I don't sing with a high soprano voice. I'm definitely more of a, an alto stroke tenor. Key for this track is actually in A, but I think I sing close enough that I can go chromatic and not worry too much. Tracking wise, I'm going to set this down about 50. We don't want it to overanalyze what I'm doing. No one needs that. And the retune speed, we're going to knock it all the way down because I don't actually want any of the tuning. Now, at this point, I'm still going to get that kind of auto-tune sound. If I want that classic auto-tune 5 sound, I can hit the classic mode. But I'm happy with the current version of auto-tune synergy kind of tone. Let's record this track. Thinking of you I see your face in the mirror Your reflection getting clearer Uh-huh It's something we do You sit beside me, hold my hand You tell me I'm your only man We spend time apart But you've still won my heart Even great singers have bad days, and while you might not want to hit the pitch correction hard, a little push and pinch here and there can really help out. So you will have maybe noticed that I'm not quite as confident on those lower notes, so let's wind in a little bit of retune speed because, as it so usefully says, this is the rate at which input audio is moved to the target pitch. I don't want it to be the full T-Pain just yet, but we want it to get into tune fairly quickly. Now, flex tune increases the amount of pitch deviation allowed before it starts to tune. Now, to be honest, I'm not a big kind of diva-esque singer. I'm really not capable of that sort of stuff. So I'm going to leave that fairly low, just a little bit. Vibrato, again, I don't have a huge vibrato. Let's knock a little bit more in, not too much. And humanize, again, I don't have an enormous great vibrato um, requiring fast retune. So I'm going to leave that where it is. So let's do a second pass. Thinking of you 
I see your face in the mirror Your reflection getting clearer Uh Uh-huh, it's something we do You sit beside me, hold my hand You tell me I'm your only man We spend time apart But you've still won my heart Auto-tune can be used as an effect or it can be used to save your audio life. Auto-tune synergy is not just a lifesaver for vocals, it also works on monophonic instrument parts as well, like, say, a solo acoustic guitar. Let's go into instrument mode. Wind up the retune speed a little bit. This time, take a listen to how auto-tune synergy deals with some of the tuning issues on this acoustic guitar. When Cher released her massive number one hit, Believe, back in 1998, the mainstream pop world had its first taste of what autotune can do when pushed to its extremes. However, hip-hop artists and producers had been using this technique for some time. Commonly known as the T-Pain effect, I'm going to show you how to get that hard and fast pitch transition effect. So for this final pass, we're going to go for the full share, the full diva, the full T-Pain effect. Let's wind the retune speed right up. So there's no time whatever between me hitting an interesting note, should we say, and the software retuning me. And you get quite an interesting effect. It maybe won't work for this track, but you can certainly see where we're going. Thinking of you I see your face in the mirror Your reflection getting clearer Uh Uh-huh, it's something we do You sit beside me, hold my hand You tell me I'm your only man We spend time apart But you've still won my heart So I hope you enjoyed that and that I've given you some ideas for using the amazing Auto-Tune Synergy plugin on the Antelope Audio Synergy Core effects and processing platform. My name's James Ivey and I hope to see you again very soon.